Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making these uh, cute uh, clothespins for a baby shower game. What you're going to be needing is the brushes. You're going to be needing the two types of Mod Podge. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but I'll tell you more about it later. In the video, we're going to be using the matte and the gloss Mod Podge, some glitter, and I got this pack of uh, 100, 100 clothespins. I end up only just use 75, but um, that's what you're going to be needing. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I poured some of this uh, Mod Podge in this little container here and I took my brush. And the Mod Podge that I'm gonna be using is the matte look, okay? So, I mean, it really doesn't matter which one you use, but at the end, it kinda does. I'll tell you here in a little bit. But so, so I'm gonna put some on my brush and I'm gonna put some on the top of this clothespin. Nice and neat. Make sure that you cover the whole thing so the whole thing is covered with glitter. Just like that. Then I'm going to be moving this out of the way just so I can show you that I'm going to be pouring some of this glitter. I got this glitter at Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99. I think I got it for 50% off, so that was a great deal. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting the glitter. I'm just going to be pouring it all over it just like that. Hit it a little bit, just tap it a little bit so the excess glitter can fall off. And there you go. Just like that. Make sure that every little piece is covered with glitter. And it looks so beautiful. Alrighty, so I'm going to show you again, once again, how to do this. I'm here in fast mode so you can see it again. Um, the Mod Podge that I'm using is the matte. I mean, it really doesn't matter which one you use, but once you're done putting the glitter, we're gonna put a layer of the gloss Mod Podge so the glitter does not fall off. It's gonna be smooth, it feels, if it does, you won't be able to feel the glitter on there. You're gonna feel just a smooth layer on. It's gonna feel nice, okay? Um, these uh, uh, clothespins I'm actually using for a baby shower game. Um, for a girl so instead of having like the plain old clothespin I decided to put some glitter um, put a flower and so the game that you play with these is the one where you don't cross your legs and cross your arms some people have where you can't even say baby but um, yep yeah, this is what it looks like So I started getting tired of pouring the glitter on top, so since the excess glitter was fallen, I started just dab dabbing um, the paper, or not the paper, but the clothespin on the glitter. So I mean, it was easier. And this is what I have so far, but I still got a lot more to go. Um, this is what I have at the end. I made 75, like I said at the beginning, and I let these dry for about like an hour. Um, just so that the glitter is on there and it doesn't come off when I put my gloss, the gloss Mod Podge gloss, okay? This this Mod Podge is gonna make um, the glitter stay on and it's kinda like, a, like you're sealing the glitter on, okay? So this is what you're gonna do. Again, you're gonna just, so right now I'm touching it and I can, once I touch it, I get glitter on my fingers. Once I put this Mod Podge on there, it's going to seal it and there, the glitter will not fall off, okay? So I'm just gonna be putting a layer of the gloss Mod Podge on here, just like this. And I'm gonna do it to all 75 clothespins, okay? Okay, so here we are, still painting, putting the uh, gloss seal on top. My daughter's here helping me. We had to make 75. So look at the difference. You can kind of see the difference. Um, the one on the left was the one that had the gloss, and the one on the right is the one that just has the glitter, no gloss at all. They both look pretty. I just, I like the way that the gloss looked, and if you touch it and feel it, it's smooth. and 
the glitter will not fall off. This one right here that I'm just picking up right now is just the glitter by itself. If you run your finger on it, the glitter will come off, okay? This one is the one with the gloss Mod Podge and the glitter will not fall off, okay? So it's up to you, you decide what you wanna do. Here they are after, I think I started the next day, so I, I let them dry overnight. It's up to you, it probably takes about an hour or two. So I'm gonna add some of these flowers on here. I got these flowers from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99, but I got them on sale for 50% off. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cutting off one of these flowers, and then or roses, and then I'm gonna also be cutting a little piece of uh, the leaf off. Because I'm gonna glue them, I'm gonna glue them with my hot glue gun here in just a second. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be putting them together just like this. I'm going to be cutting off that little piece of stem that's on there because it was kind of um, in the way. So I put some hot glue on the bottom of the, on the rose and then I just attach it or glue it to the, the leaf. Okay, just hold it for a little bit. Then I'm going to get my clothespin and I'm just going to put it, I'm going to glue it, I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to put it on the clothespin. Just like this. Make sure that you press down on the rows that way it stays on um, nicely and there you have it this is the finishing look uh, I thought they came out really cute you know it's something different uh, go ahead and use them for a baby shower girl baby shower stick them on don't cross your legs don't cross your arms I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video thanks